Athens, Louisiana. Tonight on the SEC ESPN Network, it's a, it is basketball time in Baton Rouge. Jones, Barker, and Ware, the starting five for Texas A&M. And this is the same starting five that's been tapped. LSU has used seven different starting lineups this season. And this particular how to try to penetrate, not get hurt as a problem. Van Lith snaps it down to Reese, who puts it off the glass. It's a little bit thin. Horace through the first 90 seconds. Reese comes out to defend, and we've got an illegal points and nine rebounds. A blown assignment for LSU on defense leads to the first bucket of the game and an easy one as Andrew Reese that time over with the right hand from the left side. And that's Warren Ware again. They're trying to figure out how to shoot over 6-5. Rogers snaps it down to her team. LSU in nearly a three-minute drought to open the game. Here's the lob down in traffic to Reese. Puts it on the floor. Comes back down. There's contact. Barker. Williams can tie or take the lead with the three. Game for snatching her 1,000th rebound. Look at that spin move inside a pout. Johnson penetrating, skids to a stop, gives it to Reese. She'll take the shot and nails it. Six apiece, LSU warming up after a slow start, going scoreless in the first three minutes. And Barker Luton Lith leans over the dribble. Guarded by Rogers. Van Lith gets it down to Reese and she's open for 25 to go into the opening period. Morrow guarding, and that one is drained from, and she's got five points. And LSU leads by three. The steal by MJ Johnson for Texas A&M. A three from way back. Roll trail, handoff to Johnson. Reese calling for it down low, but Johnson's gonna take it to the left side. Misses with the left hand. Reese is there. Back in easily. This has been a heck of a start for Reese. Eight points, five rebounds in the first quarter. Kick out for a three ball, and it nestled one. Coming into tonight's game, LSU is seven, Colorado's up to five. A three ball is on the money. Last year, Poa will check in as the first substitute for LSU. Van Lith for three, open, and may come out. And before she could go back down and help defense sink down, that left Van Lith wide open. What a terrific pass by wide open and just left that one. Of the game for Texas A&M. Reese working hard to defend Koulibaly and driving Hilton, but the shot is high off the rim. Here come the Tigers the other way. Fade for Flaugé. Got it. Got it. Reese gets it to last tier Poa. Williams wants it. Fades, fires, leaves it a little bit. And that will come up short from the corner. Uh, he from 40 feet misses it. Dribbling around. The three-point line, seven on the shot clock, and a drive and a strong shot, and it's put Texas A&M, 13.2 turnovers per game. That's second best in the league. Snaps it down to Reese. Feeds Williams, three ball up and in. Muck by far leads LSU in converting three-point shots. If the Lady Tigers are able to find avenues like that to dribble, they'll be able to play that inside-outside game. As well. She wheels around, stutter dribble, takes it down the left side, puts it off the window, and scores. Tough drive by Haley Van Lip. And a scoop is good by Rogers as she was able. Van Lip uses the Del Rosario pick and will take the three and nails it. Bill work. She can get on those scoring streaks. That was her 15th converted triple of the season. Williams fakes right, dribbles left, fades, fires, and drills at home. Reese will take the unguarded shot from the key. Morrow over to Reese. And that was well anticipated by the Aggies defense. And then on the Imes, the Tigers have been a little bit yeah. off kilter offensively. This is going to go for Rodgers, and she's fouled. That was rebound number eight to go along with ten points. Make it number nine to go along with ten. LSU back. That's going to be a technical foul. Yep. That's going to be a technical foul on Joni Taylor, who was showing her. Not so in the second quarter. She's got nine points, and they've all come in this period. Oh, she snaps a pass right into the hand. Deals it. 
Van Lip down the left side, hanging and missing Finn. Reese there. Reese misses. Reese goes back up. They knock senseless. Players go down everywhere. Here come the Aggies, loping down, and the lob pass is in the hands of it like the country, India. And she'll shoot it right here and nails it from the game. Number four in Maroon. She's a guard. And look, leaning over the dribble. Gets it to Del Rosario. One dribble, turns right, shoots it too strong off the window. Williams prances into front court. Williams fades and fires and travel. Where? For three. No. Williams and gets her first bucket. Barker on the run, shoots the floater and scores. Kicks it out left side. She'll take a three. Offline, Del Rosario taps it. In their last game, which was a win in Oxford against Ole Miss. This will be the third shot of this possession. Jones hanging, shooting, and scoring off Koulibaly. Rogers spinning, kicks it out. Three ball, misses by Koulibaly. LSU by five as Texas A&M tries to cut into the lead in the third quarter. And Reese snaps the, just get it. You hope your teammate is cut. Timing play, and it worked beautifully for the Tigers. My mom, tallying points in this game. 46-41, the lead is for them again. And Ben will try to make it eight, and she does. LSU by eight. Van Lith is holding her ground, and that's what in officiating, and they have been consistent doing it all season long and more. And two one up top, they went the other way with the pass, and all she had to do was spin and go to the basket. Reese, one dribble, gets close to the rack. Can't go long. That's tipped by Williams. She's prancing in the front court. Scores or misses with the left hand. To, to basketball, and of course made her mark, and, and then some, winning four gold together on five USA basketball teams from 21 to 23. And Koulibaly out in front, and Texas A&M losing at Georgia 54-50 and beating Auburn at home 66-44. Start the game in the first quarter. Johnson scooping, and LSU's lead is 10. Morrow down to Reese, fakes left, spins right, draws the foul. Morrow, seven for eight at the strike. Johnson gets it down low. And that low far for the Aggies. Remember, she had two early fouls. She was frustrated, kind of mentally checked out of the ball game, and then physically got checked out. And Reese will go. Neither team has really taken advantage of turnovers. LSU's only scored seven points so far off of those 14 turnovers. Still Roger. seven rebounds, five assists. That sneak gain is certainly Auburn's loss. She led the Auburn Tigers in points, rebounds, and seals the last two seasons. Reese scores again from Mar This is Barker. And now Bowles gets by Reese, lays it up, misses. Reese there for the rebound. Problem doing it. Doesn't complain one bit. This is Flaugé. Fakes and scoops and misses. It's Texas A&M. Williams fires it down to Van Leith, who lost it as she was looking at the rim. She'll take a shot and misses badly, and it'll stay with the last 12. It's a drought, scoring drought. For the Aggies with more than two minutes. And a nice move. Shot clock at eight. Poa at the top. Kicks it left side. Long one in the air. El Rosario. And Hilton is dribbling around. Pulls up, takes the shot. No good. Rebounded by Barker. And there's a per game coming into this contest. Goes back to what I was saying earlier about can't you just feel the intensity? You're laying your body on the line, drawing that contact. And she, 22 times this year, has drawn offensive foul. Given up all season. Williams with an over-the-shoulder blind pass. It's tipped out to Van Lith. Her three won't go. You mentioned that's the most allowed. Reese with a season-high 17 rebounds now. Morrow will go to the Join the moment. Just above what LSU averages for the season. 
dribble on the baseline. Here comes Koulibaly. Koulibaly with a strong move. She scores. She's got 16. Look at Flaugier Johnson take the lane. And Texas A&M throw. Everybody was doing. It goes back inside after. She's certainly an important player they'll need in the SEC. No question about that. And Texas. Rodgers for three. Got it. LSU. Got five players trying to figure out how to guard one who wears number one. They can't do it. Reese snaps it out for an open 14. 21 on the night. Reese with 20, Van Lith 14, and Williams has 14. Williams makes right, dribbles left. Pointer, so they're above their season average. And then Van Lith with the deflection has got the breakaway. Johnson one on one, lays it in with the left hand. Long and Victor, while we've got a moment, this will wrap up matchup in the SEC. That, that student line might already be forming for that it game. It might. It might. Rodgers, quick release, got another one. On its way to its third consecutive SEC victory to open the season. It's done here in Baton Rouge. The Tigers put it away now. 28 straight wins in Baton Rouge. That's the second longest.